We already know that machines are good at things like chess or making sense of complex data. That's not shocking anymore. What's really strange is that they still cannot do this. And that seems ridiculous to us because folding a piece of fabric feels easy. Chess, on the other hand, feels hard. There is a concept in AI called Morovets' paradox. The basic idea is that humans completely misjudge where our intelligence actually sits. The things we do without thinking, like walking, seeing, grabbing objects, dealing with soft, messy stuff like fabric, feel simple to us. We don't even notice we're doing them. So we assume they must be easy to replicate, but they're not. Those abilities come from hundreds of millions of years of evolution. They're deeply wired into our nervous systems. We don't calculate them, we just act. Math, logic, abstract reasoning, strategy, those are relatively new in human terms. A few thousand years old, in fact. They feel hard because, historically speaking, they are. AI develops the other way around. For a computer, numbers are natural. Searching patterns in data is natural. Chess is a clean, rule-based world. That's why AI shines there. But the physical world is not clean. This piece of fabric doesn't have a fixed shape. It changes every time I touch it. Parts of it hide other parts. Folding it means constantly adjusting based on what I see and feel without ever having complete information. Humans handle that effortlessly because our intelligence grew inside bodies moving through unpredictable environments. AI didn't. That's why AI looks impressive on screens and oddly helpless once you take it off screen. When AI writes code or drafts documents, it looks like understanding. What it's actually doing is very sophisticated pattern matching in a digital environment. There is no physical grounding, no real-world intuition underneath it. That, of course, doesn't make it useless, but it does make it narrow. Real intelligence, human intelligence, was shaped by acting in the world, making mistakes, adjusting, and trying again. What we have today is extremely powerful disembodied systems that happen to be very good at tasks we personally find difficult. This is where embodied AI comes in. Embodied AI means intelligence that is tied to perception and action. Systems that don't only predict or calculate, but see, move, touch, and learn by interacting with the world. The moment machines can deal with the physical world the way a small child does, navigating mess, uncertainty, and constant change, that's going to be a real shift. Until then, folding a piece of fabric is a better test of intelligence than a chessboard.